everybody. Welcome to the front lawn of America. Independence Hall right here. This is where Slug and I live. Well, not the grass, but the neighborhood. Uh, we're going on a little adventure. Come with us. jewel of our neighborhood. No, not that. That. Welcome back to a special evening edition of Dog Coffee and Guitars behind me. Beautiful old city, Philadelphia. And you know what, guys? I'm here. I'm just showing you one of my favorite guitar solos, but also the secret rock and roll ingredient. We're going to talk about that. And as always, guys, Dog coffee and guitars is more than just a title. It's a lifestyle. I mean, wake up, pet your dog, drink some coffee, practice your guitar. If that doesn't help you, I don't know what will. And if you don't have a dog or a cat, you know, they got, go down to a shelter. Go down to a shelter. Lots of animals that need homes, guys. So dog, coffee, guitar, it's a lifestyle. It'll do you some good. All right, guys, let's get into this. So that's solo. It's no secret. I'm a, I'm a huge Jimmy Page fan. Uh, I got this Cherry Sunburst Les Paul specifically because Jimmy Page played one. I mean, growing up, I was like, this is this is the holy grail. I need one of these things. Uh, and in high school, went out and got one of these things. And, uh, you know, this this guitar has been my war horse. So this is, this is my number one guitar. I'm going to show you what my number one guitar solo. This is the first guitar solo I learned when I was a kid. It really made me feel like I could be a lead guitar player. Uh, and it combines some elements. I mean, obviously E minor pentatonic, but I said the secret rock and roll ingredient. Well, what, what, what does that mean? Well, to me, E minor pentatonic, for instance. It's E minor pentatonic, but what I just did there to make it sound like rock and roll, we have to add two intervals, the flat five and the major third. So I'm going to show you how to add the flat five and the major third to your E minor pentatonic scale. I'm going to teach you guys this solo. We'll keep this one a little short and sweet. Let's do this, guys. So if, if we have our E minor pentatonic. Where's the flat five? Your fifth is here. The power chord, your B note. So the flat five is B four. We're going to add a B flat. Where's your major third? Well, from B. Our major third is going to be G sharp. So we're going to add two notes to this scale. Flat five. And the major third. So keep those two notes, B flat and G sharp in mind when we do the rest of this solo. So step. step. Get that E chord. We're going to bend up like Chuck Berry. Bend that 14 fret of the G. 12B, 12E, 15B, pull off, and then we're gonna grab the 15G. Now, usually if we're playing a pentatonic scale, we'll be landing on 14 here. 15 it creates a little bit of tension, and when that tension gets released, you have rock and roll. Look. So we bend up, like I said, like Chuck Berry. And then we're going to pick and pull off that 15B to the 12B. Pull off 15G, 14, 12. 14 and 12 again. We'll go pick, pull, pull, pick, pick. Pick the 14th fret of the G and bend up. It's that the band is going to hit that E chord again. Here's this lick here. Tearing up that open E minor pentatonic position. So we're going to go from the fourth fret of the G, slide with the ring finger, second fret of the G to the fourth fret, excuse me, middle finger, third fret B, ring finger, four, pull off, pull off. So we'll go four, pull off to the second fret, pull off to the open string. Now we're going to do two 
two sets of that open string pull off. We'll go second fret to the open string twice. Now on the D string twice. Now on the A string one time. So slow we've got. We're going back to the Chuck Berry idea. We're bending that 14 G up, hitting 12 E, 12 B, 15 B, bend it up twice. You know, we, this is a great classic rock and roll move. Everybody from Jimmy Page to Dickie Betts is going to do this one. You're going to bend up the B string, grab the note underneath it on the E string with your pinky fingers. And then we're going to grab that note on the 15 B and, and bend up a whole step again. So it's going to be... Now, if you switch, switch to A, your major third, go A minor pentatonic. Your major third will be C sharp. He's going to throw that major third here. Watch this. It's the most rock and roll thing in the world. Big wide bend. Come back. So this is 17B to 20. And we're going to bend up a whole step. Grab 17B, 18G, 20B, and then back to 17B. So it's. Now we're going to do this. 17B with the first finger, 19E with the ring finger. Keep it, cut it like that. And then we're gonna go chromatics. B, B flat. There's that flat five again, the secret ingredient. To an A. Here's our last lick, now listen to this. Another secret ingredient. We're bending an F sharp up to a G sharp. The, the major third again. Grabbing this B note with our pinky finger underneath it. And then hitting an E to the root. What that major third does for that E is it shifts you from that minor sound to that major sound. Every great rock and roll player, and before them every great blues player, was just, they had this uncanny ability to just kind of toe the line between minor and major. It keeps your playing interesting. Some other things that you can, you can listen to, like Angus Young, another one of my favorites. Uh, listen to the, the solo and You Shook Me All Night Long. I mean, the, he does a very similar thing. At the end, it goes, you know, it's G minor, and then it switches to G major at the end. That's another one. Another great Malcolm Angus Young uh, riff is Rip Rap. <laughs> that sums up what it means to be rock and roll any more than the riffraff and then you know Bon Scott just coming in just absolutely barking at every anyways I love ACDC I love Led Zeppelin you guys get the idea but real quick real quick in A in A like I said C sharp is the major third in A so that would be one of the secret ingredients right? there it is on the second note of the riff. third fret A to the fourth fret to the second fret of the D to the fourth fret third fret A open grab the fifth fret of the D with your pinky third fret A Back to Led Zeppelin. That last link. Grab that. That high note with your pinky on the 19th fret. Just like we just like I said, just like Jimmy Page, just like Dickie Betts. And on that E note. And your rock and roll. Guys, every day, pet dogs, drink coffee, play guitar. It's good for you. I'll see you next time.
Guys, one more thing. Slug wanted to say goodbye. He's like, look, he's got like, dude, we gotta go. Next episode. Made a donation to my local humane society. It's a cause near and dear to my heart. Slug here. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. The star of the show. Slug here was adopted from a shelter. Yeah, he's a shelter dog. It means a lot to me. If anybody out there makes a donation to the local Humane Society or SPCA, I've donated my time. You get a free guitar lesson. Show me that you made a donation. You get a free lesson with me over Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, whatever you want to do. Guys, it means a lot. Go out. Hey, maybe go go, go find a friend. Go give that guy your forever home. And hey, it's lucky. Say goodbye, buddy. We're out of here. See you next time on Dog Coffee Guitars.